Hey YouTubers, see I me 32, it has been forever, but I do have some good reasons why I've been gone. Uh, first off, in May, while at home, hanging out, uh, all of a sudden, stomach started to hurt. Well, I won't say all of a sudden, it had been intermittent, you know, on and off, but like really bad, like, oh my God, I'm going to die. Um, so, went to the hospital. They have been putting me off before I go with stomach pain. Oh, you're fine, you're fine. And they wouldn't let me see a weight loss surgeon because I um, had moved back to California. I was away from my doctor. And out there, like, they won't let you see one unless it's an emergency. So, like, how do you know it's an emergency if you don't let me see one? So, anywho, this last time, May, I was hurting pretty bad, called an ambulance, went to the hospital. And I said, you know, you guys run tests and whatever you get, send it to the bariatric surgeon. They did and found out that I had Peterson hernia, uh, where the bowels, you know, the after you lose so much weight, you have these empty pockets where there used to be fat and the intestines can get looped and caught, stuck, whatever. So that's what happened. Um, so I had to have emergency surgery. So that was in May and... Um, it took me quite a bit of time to recover from that. Really, I still feel kind of yucky from that. Um, but fast forward May to June, we came back to the Midwest so I could be near the doctors. I found out that I had um, chronic pancreatitis from years of abuse on my pancreas. I didn't know I had gallbladder disease for 10 years. It took them 10 years to remove the gallbladder. Um, and in that time, it ruined my pancreas. They don't tell you that. They don't tell you it's a risk. Um, now I know I'll have to have um, uh, testing done every year for pancreatic cancer going forward. So um, it's been pretty ugly. I'm seeing a GI specialist, a uh, few different specialists. I was in a hospital for a couple weeks recently um, just while they, you know, figure out what's going on. So health-wise, eh, I've been kind of yucky but Peterson hernia is from losing weight the um, pancreatitis is not that uh, I always have problems with my stomach so that's been ongoing um, so yeah health okay I have not worked out since May like May 14th 15th so yeah I'm like I uh, wish I could show you guys super like saggy and well not I won't say super but it you know the muscle tone that I did that was starting to form, not there anymore. But you know, I'm not looking super bad, but you know, I, I could use some uh, toning. Um, so, yep, that's been it. That's why you haven't seen me. I've been really trying to get my health together. And, <coughs> excuse me, also, in early last year, um, I reconnected with. Um, Oh, I already did this, <laughs> so you see it. I'll just say it. I got married. Let's see. I'll see if I can show you guys. Excuse my nails, but I got married. Um, I got married in August. I reconnected early last year with um, my ex. We had been together for six years. I think it was six years. Split for a while. Remained friends. You know, I went on with my life. He went on with his. But, you know, we always checked in with each other. And then we just felt like it was a good time. Um, you know, he was single, I was single, and we've always loved each other. And, you know, we just decided, hey, don't want to be without each other. We don't want to be without each other anymore. So he said, hey, let's get married. So I said, hey, sure, okay. <laughs> so we got married in August, and um, it's been very interesting. Marriage is some serious work. But I love it. Um, I have a great husband who's been really supportive. You know, he was with me when I was 390, with me now at 208, you know, and I think he loves the big, big Chanda more. But, uh, but um, he's just very supportive and behind me, you know, 100%. So I'm thankful for him. But um, yeah, so marriage is good. So I got married, moved back to Midwest from my doctor's battling all this health stuff, um, going back to school, just to get back in the medical field. I, I entered in, um, taking in a medical assistant course, um, just to kind of, just get my feet wet again and, 
start to kind of remember. I've lost a lot of things with some memory issues, so I just wanted to brush up on some stuff. And uh, we'll see where it goes from there. And then I have a little eBay store that I run now, so just, you know, being married, being mom, superwoman, and school, work, it's been really, really crazy, but I am actually really, really happy. Like, I'm loving life right now, and um, if I could just get healthy, you know, it'd be, it'd be great. So that's been it with me, and... Um, I have tried to comment to a few people who have responded to some videos. I can't figure this nonsense out. Hopefully I can figure out how to post this. But um, please excuse me if you you left a comment and I didn't answer. That is why. Um, but yep, yeah, hopefully everyone's doing well. Oh, quickly hair. Still no perm. It has grown a lot. Where are we? About right here. It's very uneven. Yes, growing and I still don't know like if I'm gonna lock up or what because I can barely comb through this mess so usually it's in a bun up here or um, just two French braids that's it like it's down right now just because I took my French braids out from uh, school so um, yeah but oh and I already told you guys I'm 208 so I think that's what 182 lost um, so the weight loss has been very slow because I haven't been um, really sticking to anything. I eat what I want to eat, which is not good, but I do. I eat very small amounts, um, but it's, it's causing me to plateau. And I know as soon as I, if I put effort in it again, then it'll start to come down. I want to get to about 190, 185, 190. I'm in a size 16 pant, and this is disgusting, but I'm wearing like a size 8 shirt. A small, medium, uh, yeah, that's very awkward. I'm not shaped like, it's like two different bodies. But, um, I mean, we knew that was coming because I'm uh, smaller up here. Can you see? I don't know. Anywho, yep, so um, 208 uh, from 390. Told you about uh, Peterson hernia. Guys, be careful. If you feel pain, go get that stuff checked. It is nothing to play with. You will die. If you don't, if you have it, it doesn't get treated. Sometimes it may undo itself, but most people don't live to tell the story with that one. So um, anything that doesn't feel right, get checked. Don't let these people, you know, oh, you'll be fine. No, bull crap. You know, get checked. Um, and that's it. I'm at eight minutes, so I want to wrap it up. I hope everyone's been wonderful. And um, yeah, I'll see you next week, okay? Be blessed. Bye.